club from the beginning to end. They control the energy. They control the tempo. Uh, give them a lot of credit for, for doing both of those things. I thought we uh, weren't very sharp in any aspect. And, you know, there's a famous saying, energy finds the ball. And they had more energy. They went after it. And it's disappointing, so we've got to figure that out quickly. Uh, okay, sorry, I'm, I'm really trying to follow real quickly here. Uh, the turnovers con continue to be a huge problem. A lot of uh, yes, it's, the, the frustrating part about it is it's passing catching. It's not people. I mean, it's dribble off your foot. But that's you know your skill. That's a con they're concentration deals, and we need to figure that out quickly. That's because I mean we're turning the ball over. They're all live ball turnovers, which is a big so uh, source of problems. What do you do, Joe? What do you do to stop this? Well, we'll figure it out. There's an exact thing I'd say. It or I, I also, you know, comes down to sometimes you can't, you got to take care of the ball, and you have to value every possession, which we talk about all the time. And we're we're going to figure it out quickly. Their, their defense, is that uh, the same style that they played? They played man-to-man -man the entire night. They played zone the, just about the entire time last time. It looked like they were doing some matchups. Well, they switched they switch all screens, which we did. That's what they did last time. That the, the brand of the defense, that, that was pretty good defense they were playing. How? It's difficult for you guys to find lanes and to get open shots, and I don't know. Was that y'all or was that them? Uh, Got to give them credit. They played, they played their butts off. You know, they played way harder than we did, um, and they respected the game like coach preached. Like we had to respect the game. We got to play offensively and defensively. Defensively, coach said when shots aren't falling, we got to you know find other ways to you know tune in and. This is one of the nights where we had to be grimy, like we had to play hard defense because our shots weren't falling. As you can see, shot four for 25 from the three point line, yep. 15 for 25 from the free throw. And so we just didn't lock in defensively. And, you know, this is something that we have to fix. Brandon, what was going on just like shooting wise? Were you guys just not able to get into an offensive flow today? Just take me through just maybe was, what wasn't working for you guys offensively today? Uh, it happens. You know, all year we've been we've been shooting the ball pretty well. It, it was going to be a night that it just didn't fall for us. And tonight was a night, unfortunately, we couldn't adjust how we wanted to. They were hitting shots. They were playing offensively and defense, defensively with a lot of energy. And so once we turned it off offensively, it was hard to turn it back. You know, it's hard to get it back on, especially because they was playing so hard themselves. So it was just one of those nights that we just couldn't get it going offensively. But we couldn't turn around defensively either. Brandon, uh, you guys had trailed a total of two minutes in your last four games, all wins. Tonight you trailed for a good portion of the game. Was What was it like to actually try to come back instead of trying to build on a lead tonight? It was it was, it was was hard. You know, once we got a, a little run going, they would hit a tough shot or get an offensive board and put it back in. So that would kind of take the air out, out of us. And so it was just it kept happening, the same thing, you know, went on a little run, got a steal, and, you know, made a couple baskets in a row, and then they just, you know, they kept playing hard. And they never, they never, you know, took a step back, not once in the game. They controlled the game the whole time. And so it was hard to, you know, make a step forward because they had a, they had control of the game the whole time. And, and Joe, that goes to the defense. Uh, you know, again, it, statistically it doesn't look terrible or anything, but, man, they, they just seem to be able to, to, to score when they really needed to tonight. They made some. Oh, they made shots, and that, like I said, you know, when you're the aggressor, which they were the entire night, gave up 15 offensive rebounds. I mean, that's that's awful. Turned over 19 times. We got what we deserved. In all honesty. I guess uh, Meach was uh, one of the bright spots, and he's been a bright spot lately. Terrific. His effort was great. His, his, you know, he's been turned up, and he needs to stay turned up. And we'll get the other guys turned up, but his effort was exemplary. I mean, he, he run both backboards. I mean, obviously 17 rebounds, mm -hmm. but just uh, talking, communicating. I mean, I made some. You know, obviously you got was the recipient of some good passes and some plays, but he also made some plays also. Meach, how are you feeling out there? I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. Um, better than last year. I mean, just coming out there with energy and giving my team all I can get. Is it uh, is it uh, the fact that you're totally healthy this season, or maybe you to learn some things, or a little bit of both? Both healthy, more confident, and just trying to find a way to win. What do you like about the, the big guys that you have around you, Travis and Mark Eddie, who's still kind of coming back, and yourself, Kevin Mickle, and do you guys feel more 
whole as a as a group this year is the big guys underneath you guys just feel a little more confident than you did last year yeah we do um the thing i like about the big guys is they're selfless um they look to help their teammates before and they help themselves so they don't worry about their stats they worry about winning instead of you know selfish things like how many rebounds i got how many points i have that's not like most of them Joe, as you look ahead, um, you guys got the sound coming up in a couple of days. Uh, take me through that and just prepare for them. And you want to see your team improve upon the next couple of days before you get ready for it. got to get better. Take, I mean, value in possessions and um, the, the mental aspects of the game. I think that's one thing we'll really concentrate on. You know, being a little bit more uh, in tune with what's going on, what we're trying to do, and scouting. We, we've got a lot of things to, to work on, which is the bad news and the good news. What about LaSalle stands out? I'm sure maybe if you look talented, at him yet. Very but, uh, talented. Uh, you know, they've got four kids sitting out. There's a kid from Syracuse. Johnson's a terrific player. They have one of the very uh, balanced offensively scoring. Uh, John's done a really good job with their program. They've you know they've had some tight, uh, tight games. They'll know it's a ten point game. They've got temp. I mean, they've got they've got some guys. Yeah, I watched them against Georgetown the other night. They they do look good inside and out. They're, 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 they can score both inside and outside. Any particular keys to that game? Any different than anything you, you do otherwise? Uh, well, I think the big thing would be making sure that we're, we're, we're functioning at the right level. I and mean, I mean, we can figure out, you know, we'll, we'll start really focusing on the South Mall. Brandon, I would I would expect going into LaSalle that uh, you guys are really going to kind of have a chip on your shoulder and you want to straighten this up, right? Yeah, well, me and Meach, we're going to do all that we can to make sure our team is ready to play because you know, tonight wasn't acceptable, you know. And so we're going to focus in mentally, like Coach just said, as well as physically, and you know, we just got to turn it around. You know, tonight didn't go how we wanted it to go, but we can't hang our heads on it that much longer after tonight. And March film tomorrow, and then we just got to get ready to play and change our effort. Have you seen LaSalle? I haven't seen them, but I know a couple of their players, and I know they like to, you know, they're, they're, they're good players, so. Yeah. And that's really it. Okay. Meach, have you seen LaSalle by any chance? No. Okay. Okay. Uh, how important is it, Meach, to uh, bounce back from this and to do something at LaSalle here on um, Saturday? Very important. Um, I think this going to help our guys get their confidence back because after this game, I mean, looking at the locker room, everyone has their hair down, and it's not, it's not us, you know? Um, yeah, when at LaSalle, I feel like, you know, it'll help our team morale and It'll get us right for the next game. It's a pretty tough swing, isn't it, Joe? Yeah, Louisiana really good teams, two good RPI teams, too. I mean, Sal's, I thought, was in the, had a good RPI. Louisiana Tech, obviously, on the road to Sal, like I said, they played a really good schedule. Played Georgetown, Temple, Pan, I believe. They played uh, Villanova already, so they, they, they're they're tested, and La Tech has played a really good schedule, too. Joe, you're confident in your guys. Obviously, you guys have had the six game winning streak here. Are you confident you guys can get this, kind of put this lunch behind you and get a turnaround because you have such a good team, right? It, it sounds like a coaching cliche, but the, 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 it's, it's not streaks. You're always just worried about one game. And, and you, you know, the, the, what happened in the past happened in the past, but the frustrating thing is when you don't do what got you where, you, where you've gotten. That's frustrating. You can't forget what got you where you got. And we, we talked about what happens when the ball doesn't go in the basket. We've talked about this several times, and it didn't. Um, that's when you have to find way, different ways to win, and we didn't tonight. Yeah, just eight assists tonight. Terrible. <coughs> I mean, our, our, we held the ball, the ball stuck. I mean, mm -hmm. well, it's hard to get an assist when you turn it over, too. I mean, we're turning it over too much, which we'll, we'll, we'll correct. 